we marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. AI? You mean artificial intelligence? A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. In our fast-changing world of artificial intelligence, OpenAI, a leading AI research organization, has positioned itself at the forefront of artificial general intelligence research. However, Sam Altman, co-founder and CEO of OpenAI, known for its revolutionary work including ChatGPT, suddenly finds himself out of his CEO chair. But wait, there's more. In a plot twist, he's back in again just as quickly. This roller coaster at OpenAI isn't just about office politics, it's a reflection of the heated debates and high stakes in the race towards AGI. For those unfamiliar with the term, AGI is often regarded as the ultimate achievement in the field of AI. Though it has not yet been fully achieved, this advanced form of AI would possess the capability to understand, learn, and apply its intelligence broadly and flexibly, much like a human being. This means an AGI system could perform any intellectual task that a human can do, but potentially at a much faster rate and with a larger capacity for data processing. My view of the world, you know, when you're like a kid in school, you learn about this technological revolution and then that one and then that one. And my view of the world now sort of looking backwards and forwards is that this is like one long technological revolution. And we had... Sure, like first we had to figure out agriculture so that we had the resources and time to figure out how to build machines. Then we got this industrial revolution and that made us learn about a lot of stuff. And a lot of other scientific discovery too. Let us do the computer revolution. And that's now letting us, as we scale up to these massive systems, do the AI revolution. But it really is just one long story of humans discovering science and technology and co-evolving with it. And I think it's the most exciting story of all time. I think it's how we get to this world of abundance and although, you know, although we do have these things to navigate, then there, there will be these downsides. If, if you think about what it means for the world and for people's quality of lives, if we can get to a world where the cost of intelligence and the abundance that comes with that, the cost dramatically falls, the abundance goes, ways up, goes way up, I think we'll do the same thing with energy. And I think those are the two sort of key inputs to everything else we want. So if we can have abundant and cheap energy and intelligence, that will transform people's lives largely for the better. And I think it's going to, in the same way that if we could go back now 500 years and look at someone's life, we'd say, well, there, there's some great things, but they didn't have this, they didn't have that. Can you believe they didn't have modern medicine? That's what people are going to look back at us like, but in 50 years. As we venture closer to this pinnacle of AI, ethical and management challenges become increasingly evident. The drama at OpenAI sheds light on how complex and rapidly evolving the field of AI is and how divided experts are about how we should develop, control and integrate this technology into our society. Prior to Altman's temporary removal, several OpenAI staff researchers wrote a letter to the board warning of a powerful AI discovery that could pose a threat to humanity. This letter was a crucial factor in the board's decision to oust Altman although he was later reinstated. An internal project at OpenAI, dubbed Q or QSTAR, is viewed as a crucial development in the organization's pursuit of AGI. Q demonstrated the ability to solve mathematical problems at a grade school level, which is seen as a promising step towards AI with greater reasoning capabilities. The researcher's letter highlighted the AI's prowess and potential dangers, reflecting ongoing debates in the AI community about the risks posed by highly intelligent machines. AGI isn't just a tech milestone, it's a defining moment in human history, potentially reshaping our relationship with machines and our concept of intelligence itself. I never thought governments would let AI companies get this far without any meaningful regulation. And the progress of AI went even faster than I predicted. This is a definition of artificial general intelligence, AGI, which is the stated goal of companies like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Anthropic. And these companies are also trying to build super intelligence, leaving human intelligence far behind. And many think it'll only be a few years maybe from AGI to super intelligence. So when are we going to get AGI? Well, until recently, most AI researchers thought it was at least decades away. 
And now Microsoft is saying, oh, it's almost here. We're seeing sparks of AGI and ChatGPT4. And the Metaculous betting site is showing the time left to AGI plummeting from 20 years away to three years away in the last 18 months. And leading industry people are now predicting that we have maybe two or three years left until we get outsmarted. So you better stop talking about AGI as a long-term risk, or, or someone might call you a dinosaur stuck in the past. Here is a thought-provoking question. Considering the advancements in AI like Project Q, what are the potential implications for human society if AI surpasses human intelligence? AI godfather Alan Turing predicted that the default outcome is the machines take control. The machines take control. I know this sounds like science fiction, but, you know, having AI as smart as GPT-4 also sounded like science fiction not long ago. And if you think of AI, if you think of super intelligence in particular as just another technology, like electricity, you're probably not very worried. But you see, Turing thinks of superintelligence more like a new species. Think of it. We are building creepy, super capable, amoral psychopaths that don't sleep and think much faster than us, can make copies of themselves and have nothing human about them at all. So what could possibly go wrong? And it's not just Turing. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who gave us ChatGPT, recently warned that it could be lights out for all of us. Anthropic CEO Dario Amode even put a number on this risk. 10 to 25%. And it's not just them. Human extinction from AI went mainstream in May when all the AGI CEOs and a who's who of AI researchers came out and warned about it. And even the number one of the European Union warned about human extinction by AI. This isn't just a tech wonder. It's a reflection of our deepest ethical and philosophical questions about machines in our lives. As AI becomes more integrated into our society, a crucial question arises. How do we ensure that these AI systems act in ways that are beneficial to humanity and aligned with our values and ethical principles? This question leads us to the concept known as AI alignment problem. This is why OpenAI created a new research program on super alignment, they are striving to establish safeguards to prevent AGI from becoming too autonomous or advanced beyond our control or understanding. This project isn't just technical, it's a moral and ethical journey highlighting our responsibility in creating entities that might surpass human intelligence. People are working hard on evals, looking for risky AI behavior, and that's good, but clearly not good enough. The real problem is that we lack a convincing plan for AI safety. They're basically training AI to not say bad things rather than not do bad things. Moreover, evals and debugging are really just necessary, not sufficient conditions for safety. In other words, they can prove the presence of risk, not the absence of risk. So let's up our game, all right? try to see how we can make provably safe AI that we can control. Guardrails try to physically limit harm. But if your adversary is super intelligent or a human using super intelligence against you, right, trying is just not enough. You need to succeed. Harm needs to be impossible. So we need provably safe systems. Provable not in the weak sense of, of convincing some judge, but in the strong sense of there being something that's impossible according to the laws of physics. Because no matter how smart an AI is, it can't violate the laws of physics and do what's provably impossible. We're optimistic that this vision can really work. As we teeter on the edge of possibly creating beings that redefine intelligence and autonomy, OpenAI's journey is a stark reminder of the immense responsibility those delving into AGI carry. It's a story where human intellect intertwines with the mysterious potential of artificial minds, a narrative unfolding with each scientific and ethical debate. What would our world look like when our decisions and societal structures are influenced 
or determined by super-intelligent AI systems that perfectly understand and align with human values? Envision a super-intelligent AI that can analyze your health data in real time, alerting you to potential medical issues before they become serious, or even suggesting lifestyle changes tailored to your genetic makeup. Furthermore, this super-intelligent AI would understand the aging process and develop new treatments and therapies that can help slow or reverse the effects of aging. As we stand on the cusp of such groundbreaking advancements, we must also grapple with the ethical and societal implications of living alongside superintelligent entities that could reshape every aspect of our lives. We've had a lot of ideas about this. There's a way that we like share ownership and decision making over the future. A thing I say a lot about AGI is that everyone realizes we're going to have to share the benefits of that, but we also have to share like the decision making over it and access to the system itself. Like I'd be more excited about a world where we say rather than give everybody on earth like one eight billionth of the AGI money, which we should do that too, we say you get like one eight billionth of a, a, a one eight billionth slice of the system. You can sell it to somebody else. You can sell it to a company. You can pool it with other people. You can use it for whatever creative pursuit you want. You can use it to figure out how to start some new business. And with that, you get sort of like a voting right over how this is all going to be used. The better the AGI gets, the more your little one eight billionth ownership is, is worth to you.